You know, people are constantly asking me, why do we always look back? Why can't we just look forward? Well, I'll tell you, with the, with the candidacy of James Field, the people of Alabama have the opportunity to do nothing but look forward. I came up very poor, worked hard on our small family form. There were seven of us who survived of 12 children. And we worked very hard and we worked together. And I wanted to make sure that my life meant something to the people that I'm around. And that's why I'm running for Lieutenant Governor, because I want to serve people and I want to bring people together because I know that, hey, if we work together. If Alabamians come together, we can do better. I'm supporting James Fields because I know what kind of man he is. I know that he will support the working people of Alabama and I know he has integrity and he will be able to reach across party lines to put that to work as our Lieutenant Governor. This campaign should be focused on what really matters improving education, and creating jobs. We gotta find a way to boost our economy in this state. We're losing jobs every day. I'm a candidate that's for both business and labor. And I believe if we can bring business and labor together, we can create more jobs. We could improve education in our state simply by just doing the right thing. Making sure that our education system is properly funded. Making sure that our teachers, our educators know that we support them. If our students, if our children don't receive the proper education that they deserve, we will have a dumbed down society. We won't be able to compete on the global market. We won't be able to compete on the local market. People have often come to me and says, James, you can't win. You can't win because you're black. I use three numbers when people say that we can't win. 96, 80, and 60. I came out of county as 96% white, 80% Republican, and we won that race by 60%. And I say to people, we can win, and this is the right time. James Fields is the type of candidate who learned from the past, but more importantly, he's got an eye toward the future. That's the kind of leader we need. That's the kind of leader we do not have in Montgomery at this point, and we desperately need one.